Welcome back to the Blockchain Gate. Today, we're going to be discussing nodes. The Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Fabcoin networks consist of nodes, but what are they? Nodes are servers and computers that run network software. They can enter and exit the network at any time. The code of the network software allows various nodes to find and connect with each other, which forms a network where information can be shared or transacted. This information can be transactions, blocks of data, documents, Bitcoin or Fabcoin cryptocurrencies, the way a new node joins a network is through connecting to their first peer. After they connect with their first peer, they can obtain a list of other peers to connect with. There are multiple methods to connect to the first peer. For example, the Bitcoin and Fabcoin client contains a list of servers that can return IP addresses of nodes. The Bitcoin and Fabcoin client can also be given a static IP of a peer. You can pass it as a parameter when starting the client software through the command node. Once the node has the IP address of a peer, it establishes an initial connection with the remote node by 1. Sending a version message to the peer with information about itself. Then the remote peer will verify if the sender's version is compatible with its own version of the software. If there is compatibility, it establishes connection by sending a version of acknowledgement message with a specific command string. Once the connection is established with its peers, the node will begin to share information such as a list of their own peers or IP addresses, a local copy of the blockchain to determine if they are missing any blocks, as well as missing blocks to any peers that do not have them. Nodes have four major functions. The first is routing. This is the bare minimum to participate in the Bitcoin network. Routing nodes discover and connect to other peers in the network, validate and propagate blocks throughout the network as well. The second function is storage. Nodes stores a local copy of the entire blockchain and can validate independently. Another function is mining. This is the creation of new blocks to add to the blockchain. They solve cryptographical puzzles to verify transactions. The fourth is wallet services, which is basically just verifying transactions. A node can be a routing node. Routing nodes only provide routing services within the network. Next, there are full blockchain nodes. Full blockchain nodes provide both storage and routing services. Full nodes store local copies of the blockchain and autonomously verify transactions. They take a lot of storage space but do not rely on any outside influence to run. Mining nodes run the mining software and add transactions into the network. Mining nodes do not have to act as a full node providing full storage of the blockchain. Mining nodes can actually join mining pools where the pool server provides the full node storage services of a full node. Lastly, there are SPV wallet nodes. SPV nodes provide network, routing, and wallet services specifically. They do not have a full copy of the blockchain and usually run on low power, low memory devices. They rely on trustworthy full nodes to provide information. This leaves a slight security vulnerability. So that's the basic rundown on nodes within the blockchain. For more information, make sure you subscribe to the blockchain game.